I think it, it perhaps is that I'm too soft. Um, I'm, I'm often referred to as um, courtly or mild or, or whatever. And it is true that I'm of the old school. I think you're supposed to stand up when women come to the table. You're supposed to seat them. You're supposed to hold doors for them and all. But that doesn't mean that I'm soft um, um, or, or a pushover. Um, I'm just not. But I, 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 one of the slogans we used to use in, in one of the campaigns was, you don't have to be loud to be strong. Um, and I believe that. You, you, can, you can be firm and, and strong and, uh, without being abusive or discourteous. Or, and I think sometimes some people, underline some, may mistake uh, courtesies and, and politeness for softness. And how would you define yourself? Oh, I think I'm... Um, I don't think I'm extraordinary. I really don't. I think that I have just been very, very fortunate. I've been given a lot of opportunity, and I've, I've um, been able to rise to the challenge more often than not. Uh, but I, I think that uh, a lot of people I know uh, in whom I hold uh, great confidence, uh, um, I, I, I have a way of saying that everybody stands on somebody's shoulders, and I make reference to Malcolm X and Martin Luther King and Sojourner Truth and Harriet Tubman and friend Dorothy Height and Rosa Parks, who still lives. And I always include Percy Ellis Sutton because uh, Percy ran for mayor in, in 1977 with such class and distinction, unheard of, a black run for mayor of New York City. But he did it so well that nobody laughed at me in 89 when I dared try. So he's one of my heroes. I stand on his shoulders, too. And um, so the point is that there are others that I think are, are far more accomplished and, or given the opportunity would have been, would have done what I have been able to do. Um, but I had the chance. But I had the chance because others gave it to me. I, I, I'll tell you a little story. Um, we went to Rome. And I, I a delegation, we went to several cities. And uh, on this occasion, I think we were en route to South Africa. But at any rate, we're in Rome, and we had a, uh, an audience with the, the, the Pope. That is to say, we had an appointment to have an audience. But we changed the date that we were going to go, so we lost our audience, and we, did not, we were not able to get a new one. Um, but we arrived in London, met at the airport by... A lot of, of uh, security, a lot of police, uh, eight or ten motorcycles, sirens blaring, take us into town. The City Hall in London is an amazing old building, beautiful architecture. They literally had a red carpet down these steps. I mean, a, literally a carpet which was red down these steps. They had costumed attendants with long horns, you know, dunk to them like Cecil B. DeMille. We had uh, exchanges of gifts and a lot of formal uh, uh, talks, and we met with the mayor, later with the governor, and then later I had a private audience with like four or five people with the president of the country. And, and the New York press corps follows you. Headlines back home, Pope snubs Dinkins. So what can I tell you? That's a true story. So it goes. <laughs> so it goes.